Hey everyone, Flint Truth Channel. Hope everyone's doing well. I apologize for having to remake this video. I seen your comments that there was no sound when the video played for the police officers. I truly apologize. The video was supposed to show, and I'm going to play it again. The officers are going to ask, hey, can I shut my camera off? Because he thinks the one cop's not recording because he can't see his recording light. And the cop says, no, I'm still on. And he says, you're on. And he says, yeah. And he says, oh, I can't tell. And then the cop goes on to say, hey, yeah, I did this, uh, took a permanent marker, and I blacked out the light that lets the suspect or you know the people they're talking to know that I'm recording. So what I do is is I just took a marker, you know, blanked it out, and now I'm the only one by looking down and can see the light, whether it's recording or not. So absolutely shady, absolutely ridiculous. It just shows that they're allowed to do what they want, pretty much. You know, they're so sneaky, they're so shady. You know, they're government agents allowed to, they literally are given power to kill you, you know. And they're no different than any other human being. They're no different than any other man. They get a couple weeks training, you know, not even very good training. You know, training really that just teaches you to be a robot, teaches you to not think, teaches you to react certain ways in certain situations, treat people like robots and not humans. And, you know, they get that position, they get that badge and that costume, and it just goes to their head. And all of a sudden, the robot mentality kicks in, and they're no longer a person. They're no longer a human. And that's the reason why they teach these people these these tactics. It's the same thing they do in the military. It's because these people, these these cops, they have a hard time, you know, you know, back in the day, shooting Americans and pulling the trigger on their own people. Well, nowadays they have no problems with that because they're robots. They don't they don't think, okay? They don't react on emotion anymore. It's pure what they're training and instinct. You know what I mean? What they're training is so. This should be a policy violation at the very very least, but I'm going to play it. Dog in your own or it's turning off? I'm going to leave mine on. Did you saw it? Mm hmm. Oh, I thought it was green. I was like, no, all right. Well, I took a black magic marker and colored it in lights because I don't like people being able to see the lights on it. So I have one little tiny speck on the top that I can look down and see if it's green or red. So you can tell already that this is a, this is a shady cop, just like all the rest of them, but. All three of the cops right there were fooled. Not None of them knew that he was recording. They all were like, wow, I didn't know you were recording. So it's even fooling officers. So this is how sneaky they are. This is the tactics they use. They are illegally allowed to lie to you. So don't think that, you know, if just because they say something to you, they have to stick by it. Or, you know, like all these times they tell these people, these, these oh, you're not in any trouble. You're not going to jail. I just need to talk to you. They're allowed to lie to you. Those people are in trouble. Those people are going to jail more than likely. It's just a tactic that they use, a psychology, uh, a psychology tactic, and they're trained, like I said, to to do these things. And it's sneaky, it's shady. You know, they claim they didn't like the body cameras at first, and they probably didn't at first because they thought it was going to hold them accountable. But they found ways around that. Now they like the cameras because they know we can mute them when we want, we can unmute them when when it's we can mute it when it's when it's when it's damaging to us, we can unmute it when it's beneficial to us you know we can turn the cameras off when and we can lose camera footage when bad things happen you know but if you know something bad doesn't you know if they don't do something bad and you know and and it's a good evidence film then that then the, the film doesn't disappear you know and they don't have any problems with it it's just absolutely ridiculous the 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 links that these guys go to to hide these body cameras to when they file them, they file them under different names and different numbers, so that way they can, you know, practically never be found. But they're just shady people, you know, and like I said, you know, are there good police officers? Yes. In every walk of life, there are good people, people that are deceived. There's good, you know, um, people that are in Freemasonry, I'm sure, you know, that are deceived. Low-level, dumbed-down people that, you know, their daddy joined or their mommy or whoever in their family was, was, was there and... They don't know any better, and they join themselves. So it absolutely does happen, um, but it's not the norm. It's not the majority. So, and but like I said, with any walk of life, you know, there's good people mixed in, and police officers are no different. But I'm gonna play this one more time, let you guys hear it again. Dog on your own, or it's turning. I'm going to leave mine on. 
No, I, I took a black magic marker and colored in the lights because I don't like people being able to see the lights on it. So I have one little tiny speck on the top that I can look down and see if it's green or red. They all said it's a good idea. Absolutely ridiculous. This should at least, at the very least, be a policy violation. They're knowingly altering the equipment and doing sneaky things to fool the public, to fool the people that they're supposed to be serving. It's not They're not supposed to be going around fooling and tricking the public so that way the public doesn't know they're being recorded. They're supposed to be servicing the public, protecting the public. They're supposed to be for the public, you know, but that's not what the police are for. The police are for the rich. They're for the government and the elite. They're to protect uh, the rights of the rich people, to protect the property of the rich people, uh, to, to protect the businesses of the rich people, um, they're not for the peasants. They're not for the, you know, that's why they can't be charged. That's why they have amnesty, almost complete immunity. Judges and prosecutors and other um, high-ranking officials have complete immunity. And police officers have immunity, but it's not complete immunity. But it's absolutely ridiculous. We need to get rid of uh, qualified immunity. It's absolutely ridiculous. They claim that it's so that way police officers don't have to think when they're going responding to a call, but police don't already think as it is because they're trained not to think. They're trained to react on their training and not emotion. They're robots, so it's absolutely ridiculous. And um, we need to get rid of qualified immunity because all it is is it's it's immunity for the government, and that's not what uh, it's supposed to be. Okay, it's not supposed to be that they have their own. Um, police force where they can in, in government agencies where they can go in and, and, and bully the citizens and, and murder the citizens if they don't agree with them and legally get away with it and come in your house violate your right to do whatever and get away with it and nobody ever has a problem with it everybody's just okay you know so anyways i just thought i would share that with you like i said very sneaky tactics very sneaky police you know always trying to get their their booty always trying to get their 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 treasure because, you know, they absolutely are pirates. I know a lot of them hate that term. They hate that they're, that they're government pirates. But that's exactly what they are. They can't look at it any other way. It's just a job. They're no different than any other person. But being a former detective myself, I know exactly their mentality. I know exactly how they think. I know exactly how they are. And I know exactly how shady they are. So, um, yeah, guys, beware, you know. And uh, so just thought I would share that with you guys. You know, they're very, very shady uh, they're legally allowed to lie to you. They have immunity when they, you know, do happen to make a bad mistake and, act, you know, hurt a public person, you know, hurt a, hurt a, hurt, hurt somebody or violate somebody's right. They're immunified. They have immunity. Okay. You can't even hold them accountable. So it's ridiculous. It's a big double standard. Like I said, you know, the only people that could change it are the rich people and they don't have a problem with it because the police serve the rich people and they're for the rich people. They're not for the peasants so just thought i would share that with you you know the legal system doesn't work for the poor people it's not for the, the poor people that's why they provide you a public uh pretender you know where their where their job is you know only time people can get you know legally you know win legal cases is if they go and spend a lot of money on a good lawyer and then you know you, uh, if you don't have a lot of money you're given a public defender they call it a public pretender because they pretend to defend you but they don't if you anything you try to any type of evidence you try to give them to put in to drop your case, they're not going to hear it. They're going to give you every excuse of why it won't be admitted, why it's not permissible to the case, and blah 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 blah. They'll come up with every reason under the sun to uh, basically make sure that you take a deal. That's their job. Their job is they're best friends with the prosecution. They their office is in the same building as the prosecutors. They all work together in the courts with the judges and prosecutors, and their job is to get you to come to a plea agreement, to get you to plead to something, whether you know whether that's a monetary fine, whether that's a, you know in a, a certain amount of days in jail. But that's their job. Their job isn't to get you off. Their job isn't to get experience per se, you know, or whatever, so that way they can get better at being a public defender their job is literally working with the prosecutor's office in the judge to get you to take a a plea to get you to plea to something you know no matter how small it is they need to get you to plea because then that proves that you're guilty and that proves and, and they get money that's how they generate money so anyways i'm gonna end it there you guys can come to your own conclusions and uh god bless you all